In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Clarify's general recognition model and transfer learning to annotate and train your own model very, very fast. Now, here's a whole bunch of animals, five different animals, and let's get into it. So, first of all, we are going to see that there are no cats. So, let's take a look. We've marked off the train thing. Let's do a search for cats. There, our general recognition model has not found any cats. So, we are now going to try looking for horses, and we know there are horses in there. There we go. We're seeing all these horses. So this is the Clarify model finding the horses, and we can actually just select them all and label them. Now what this means is that we don't have to label them ourselves later on. It's done. The horses are taken care of. And any that are missed, we will go back and check for. So now we're doing the same thing with dogs, and we're doing a very fast visual scan as we go down this thing to see if there are anything that looks like it might not be a dog, but they all look like dogs. And bam. Okay, next up. What's our next animal? And that is elephants. So as we're going through and looking at the elephants very, very fast again, we see that we have found a whole bunch of elephants and we're gonna label them. It found 97 out of 100 elephants. Again, there are 500 pictures in this set, 100 for each type of animal that we see here under the labels tab there. So next we are gonna find butterflies. And now this is a pretty easy one because they're all close-ups, they're all very colorful, they're all very pretty, everybody loves butterflies. And move that bottom one, it doesn't even look like a real butterfly, but let's go. So selecting butterflies, and we are set, add to the labels. We are almost done. I think we just have hens left. There's a little bit of confusion here whether these were hens or chickens, and I think that searching for hens sometimes excludes the roosters, but let's give it a go. It found 95 of them, and we're marking them as chickens. Now that we've done all that, what we can do is check to see what we missed. So let's just click on Unlabeled. Unlabeled are all of the only pictures that did not find anything. Now, oh my goodness, what is that? I have no idea what that is. That is clearly not one of our animals. Let's skip it. This one, I guess, is a dog, but covered in watermarks. So let's go to the next. And this seems to be dogs from a horror movie. Anyway, next, now we have a stock photo of a horse. So we're back to where we are sure are our animals. So let's just, just go with the horses. And we are selecting, these were the few, oh, whoa, those are not horses. What are those donkeys doing? Back onto the horses, and we are selecting the horses, and we're good. Those are all of our horses. Those are the, all of the horses that we didn't catch automatically, but with a quick visual scan, we were able to tell these are horses. Let's add them to our labels. Now it's reloading. Let's see what else we missed. Elephants. There are three elephants. You can see one of them is very artistic, and two are silhouettes, so I can understand why I missed those. And then finally, I think we are onto the single butterfly photo there. I don't know why I missed the butterfly, but we got the butterfly. Probably saw more of the flowers and thought they were all flowers. And then I guess we're just onto the chickens. And let's get those last straggling hens and roosters and add them to the pile. And there we have it. We have the sort of so-so dog, the creepy dogs, and whatever that guy is. Now what we can do is we can actually create a model. And we choose a transfer learning classifier. And the only thing we have to do is enter a name. We're going to call it animal classifier. We do need to choose our training set, which is what we're going to use. And we're selecting all the concepts, so all of the different animals we picked. And we are making them mutually exclusive because there are no pictures that have more than one type of animal in the picture. And now what it's doing is it's training, and it's using an existing model, and it's just simply fine-tuning the very end of it. It's using transfer learning to update an existing model, and boom, it's done. Much, much faster than training something from scratch. And if we go into test now, we see it's empty, because we have not set up any test images. We have this luckily prepared. We have a whole folder of 50 test images. We're going to upload those. We are putting them into our test data set. We are uploading them. And here we go. They're not very big images. This shouldn't take very long at all. And here we have them all. And if we look here, we go up to annotate and we change it to predict to see what's on the side. And we see that this is going to be considered clearly a dog. We choose animal classifier. And this one has a 94% chance of being a dog. Let's see what's next. Oh, well, this one's a bit of a giveaway because it actually has the breed on it and 94% chance of being a dog. And we see these friendly fellows have 98% chance of being a dog. 
and we have a 99.9% .9 chance of being a chicken. And so to conclude, I was able to label 500 images in a matter of minutes, create a custom transfer learning classifier, and successfully test it out on a whole new set of images. And now we can just end this by looking at puppies that we are 92.6 and 89.4% sure are actually puppies. Thanks for watching.